Hey, what's up, nerds? With Doom Eternal on the way on March 20th, that's a little over a week away from when I'm shooting this video, I wanted to uh, give you a little something to, to hold you over until then. So I've got a list of five games that will, you know, kind of wet that, same, uh, wet that same appetite that Doom Eternal and Doom 2016 kind of lit up for everybody. So I'll go through them in no particular order. Let's jump into it. First up is a game that isn't quite like Doom, more has its origins in Wolfenstein if anything else, but that would be Rise of the Triad 2013. It's a remake of the original Rise of the Triad, which was originally supposed to be Wolfenstein 3D Part 2. It's just a, it's a throwback shooter, it's janky, it's weird, it's kind of shit. But it's a whole lot of fun just all the way through. The soundtrack is just a rager. Give it a look. It's probably not that expensive. I think I accidentally bought it uh, because it was so cheap. So jump on the Steam, grab you one, and just blow through some people. Next up, we have a little game, it's a demo right now, but it's free. That's the benefit of it. It's called Ultra Kill. I'll link you down below to, uh, to where you can get that demo. It's currently not on Steam, but uh, I'll give you the, the access to that. Download it, it's just an absolute insane game about just, it's not about anything. You just go through hallways and rip up monsters. It's a good time and you can't beat it for the price. Next we have a Steam Early Access game, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, but it is from uh, is published by 3D Realms. It's called Wrath, Eon of Ruin, and it is pro it's much more like Quake, but hey, if you're into the new Doom games, they have a lot of their uh, DNA in Quake anyway. So give it a look. Yes, it is $24.99 right now, or you can uh, buy it in a double pack with uh, Ion Fury, which is also good, not on this list, but it's a great game. Um, and just you just tear through monsters. The way it, the way it goes is you go from level to level. There's a hub world, and you pick a level. There's only two in the early access version, but you pick a level, and that one will be the easiest level you play. And then it scales as you go along. So if you play one first, it'll be easier, and then the next one will be hard or you can reverse it and have an easier time with that one and then a harder time with the next. Um, so far, it's an incredible game. Definitely worth your time. Next, we have a, another throwback first-person shooter, and it's more of a throwback to <clears throat> Hexen or Heretic, but it's incredible. It is called a medieval. A medieval is um, just a all-around strange game. You uh, you deal with you know mystical weapons and mana and you know a melee weapon and all that. And I, I'm sure I'm playing it back here. If you see this weapon, that is not that is not a polygon model. That is a sprite. For no reason. It's insane. That's what this game is. It is just insane throwbacks with insane details for no reason. You might look at this game and be like, eh, it's kind of low poly. I think I can run that on my toaster. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. But it is all the same an incredible game. You throw planets at people with this one with this one weapon. Like, just well worth well worth the 25 bucks they're asking for it. Go for it. It will, you will, there's seven, uh, there are seven episodes, each with four to six missions or something like that. You, it's not a short game, plenty of content packed into there, and it is just a goddamn load of fun. If you are, uh, if you're into throwback first person shooters, yeah, I think if you're into any of the Doom games, there's definitely something here for you.
And then lastly, we have also from New Blood Interactive, same as a Medieval, and I think you can even buy them in a combo pack. Uh, I think that combo pack also has maximum action in it, which is still pretty janky, but actually a good time. Um, <clears throat> we have Dusk. Dusk is an incredible game. It's It was on my uh, list of games of the decade, <laughs> but it's just, it's three episodes, Play it on hard, play it on their, their hardest level, or um, you know, the second to hardest level, whatever it is. Sarah Mieto. Just nonstop action. Nonstop action with incredible gunplay, just incredible physics. I can't say enough good things about Dusk. Check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Check all these games out. I mean, you probably don't have enough time to check all these games out if you're waiting for Doom Eternal, but check one or two of them out. I guarantee you if you're into this kind of shooter, if you're into just fast action, blowing shit away, not a single thing on this list is going to let you down except maybe Rise of the Triad 2013 because it's janky as fuck, but it's still a great time. Uh, if you have anything to add to this list, comments below. If you have any comments otherwise, that's what they're for. Give it a like if you liked it. Give it a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you want more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.